What technology has done today is give the artist a wide array of potential tools in which to use to understand our place in society today, where we will be in the future, and the problems that we might encounter along the way. Most of our contemporary discussions about data and algorithms have been directed towards the larger big tech companies and how they actually aggregate our data, how they analyze it, and how they push it back towards us. And early discussions talked a lot about revealing that black box and thinking about what transparency might mean. Technology has its brilliant plus sides, but we're being tracked and we're being surveyed and monitored. We're constantly moving towards the deferment of responsibility towards machines. At some point, there's this question, does the machine have its own consciousness? It's important that we have transparency of how these systems work. And this requires an active search into what are they based on. I'm very interested in how virtual reality and augmented reality can change behaviors. We are moving towards a more automated society. So how is this going to affect jobs? How is this going to affect people? I'd like to imagine that the artist would play a role in opening up a reinvestigation of technology. Do the systems that we start to build today create new kinds of problems that we can only start to address in 50 years time? Communities and people are becoming more and more aware of like the systems in place that are not beneficial to us at all. So I think artists have a responsibility to bear witness and tell people about this in whichever kind of medium that they choose to. Art and artists will be our visual archive of what life used to be like before the rise of technology and what the future was speculated to be. If technology has done anything, it has helped the artists realize that there are no boundaries to this world. And I think what artists can offer in relationship to technology is the ability to ask difficult, probing, inventive questions but also to rework the conditions of experience in which we live our kind of technologized lives. I think that artists will be shifting, and they have already done this, away from traditional mediums like paint. They'll still use those techniques, but they'll be using different mediums. Virtual reality and augmented reality are very powerful tools. In 50 years' time, we may not have headsets anymore. They might exist as part of our vision units that we have in our eyes <laughs> and we might be able to modify our physical reality in the way that we feel is best. I suspect that the internet is just going to be owned by two companies, it's going to be three websites and we're going to have a lot of choice within those websites but that's going to be it. So the darknet is going to be a great alternative to the really dull clear internet that we're going to have and I'd love to just teach people that. The use of AI and automation in health is radically changing our systems. Are we still going to be treated in person? Are we going to be treated by robots? Could it be maybe that technologies like machine learning or artificial intelligence would allow uh, more people to become artists in the future? Could everybody become an artist? I don't simply just want a, a robot to comfort me or bring me medicines or greet me in the tube station. What I want is to be taken on a, perhaps an artistic exploration of what it's like to be a robot, of what it's like to actually be an algorithm or understand the world through data. And I think through both the use and critique of technology, the artist will be able to extend those boundaries to give us something that we could have never imagined. Hyundai Motor. Connecting art and technology. Thank you.